Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a fetus with small size fetal limbs and polyhydramnias. You can see the fetal gestational age of the fetus and it is about 30 weeks. You can see the fetal head and the gestation age measured by bipartial diameter is far greater than it is measured with femur length. So the fetal limbs are small in size and small for age, small for gestational age. You can see the fetal head, fetal head. The prevalence of fetal limb anomalies is reported to be approximately 6 in 10,000 live. Three-dimensional ultrasound provides a better understanding of fetal phalanges, but the number of toes may be difficult to assess because of their small size. You can see the fetal age measured by the bipartial diameter is 32 weeks plus now you can see the spine of the fetus the placenta is in this view looks to be interiorly attached now you can see the spines Now this, this, this is the ear, ear, or well, you can see the pneumatic fluid is thick and turbid, having multiple internal echoes. Now this is the other ear, both the ears are echomeconormal, looks to be echomeconormal. A short femur is defined as measurement below 2.5 percentile of gestational age. This finding is typically identified on second trimester prenatal ultrasound as femur measurement are a part of a log logarithm for pregnancy dating. You can see the fetal cardiac activity. A congenital limb defect is when an arm or leg doesn't form normally as the baby grows in, in the uterus. The exact cause of congenital limb defect is often not known. Certain thing may increase the chances of a child being born with such a defect. These include gene problems or exposure to some viruses or chemicals. Now you can see the this lepus pocket measures about 12.5 centimeter. So there is mild polyhydramnias, mild to moderate polyhydramnias. You can see the fetal abdomen and now the fetal lower limbs are visible. This is the leg. Umbilical cord is also visible. Now these are the this is a male child. These are the male genital organs.
these are the male genitals and now you can see the femur and the size of the femur is much lower than the normal this is the femur and you will see the measurement and lift it looks super deformed and the gestation is measured by this femur length is about 24 weeks while the gestation is measured by bipedal diameter is more than 30, 32 weeks you know, now you can see the foot of the fetus and it looks that some phalanges are missing Now this is the foot of the fetus. Again you can see both the feet, foot, both the feet. Umbilical cord is also visible. Both the legs are small for age or smaller. This, these are the four phalanges, four toes, toes of the foot, and one looks to be missing. A female length that is shorter than expected has been used as a soft marker for certain genetic conditions such as trisomy 21 Down syndrome, trisomy 13 Patua syndrome and trisomy 18 Edwards syndrome. Now you can see the abdominal circumference. This is the placenta right lateral and anteriorly attached these are the spines again you can see the liquid amni the Amniotic fluid is increased in volume. And it at this point it measures about 10.5 cm and the other deepest pocket measured about 12.5 cm. Now you can see the upper limb humerus is visible now you can see the humerus the bone of the upper limb and we will see the measurement of the gestation age by humerus length this is the humerus And you can, you will see the measurement of the gestation, gestational age by humerus, and it is also something more than 24 weeks, exactly the same as measured by the femur length. So it looks both the upper and lower limbs are small in size, smaller for age.
Now these are the toes, toes of the, these are the fingers, the fingers of the hand. The leg, the upper arm and the arm of the newborn with Down syndrome was significantly shorter than controls. The upper limb reached up to the pelvis in an infant with Down syndrome and not up to mid thigh as in normal babies. The forearm was shorter than the arm in the infant with Down syndrome. Bioparietal diameter is one of the basic biometric parameters used for, to assess fetal age. Bioparietal diameter together with head circumference, abdominal circumference and femur length are com computed to produce an estimated estimate of fetal weight. Now you can see the face of the fetus. Again, you can see the upper limb. This is the arm of the fetus. And now you can see the one finger is missing. Now you may get a report after your scan with the measurements crown length and length from the top of the head to your baby's bottom. Measurement taken in first trimester. Abdominal circumference, the, the length going around your baby's belly. Femur length is the length of the bone in your baby's leg. Now, the fetal mac macrosomia can be caused by genetic factors as well as by maternal conditions such as obesity or diabetes. Rarely, a baby might have a medical condition that speeds for fetal growth. In some cases, what causes a larger than average birth weight remains unexplained. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.